Hello, Damon Mercy Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at installing Image Burn onto Windows 11. Let's jump into it. Okay, so on the machine here, uh, first of all, what we need to do is go to imageburn.com. Uh, if we go back to the home page here, first thing you'll notice on the home page is there's normally, because of an advert, a nice big download button. This is not where to download Image Burn from. Uh, what you need to do is go next to the news um, button at the top here and click on download. Um, I then like to download from um, the Image Burn Mirror. If we click on here, you can see this has actually downloaded the file now. And underneath on the page here, you will see we've got various um, hashes of the file. Um, these can be used to verify that we've got the actual correct file and it's not been changed or tampered with. Um, so, quick and easy way to do this on Windows. If we open up Explorer, we'll go to the Downloads folder. You can see we've got uh, the file here. First thing I'm going to do is do a right click and say copy path. And in the top, if I type CMD, this will launch uh, the command prompt. And in fact, what we will do is launch PowerShell. So let's do PowerShell uh, ISE. And this will actually launch PowerShell in the folder. And I can change this over to a uh, dual mode on the top here and we can show the script panel on top. So what we would then do is use this command called cert util and we're going to use the command hash file and we've already copied the path to the clipboard so if we then paste here this will put the full path to the file we've downloaded and what, at the end here we can specify the checksum we wish to do so in this case I'll do md5 and if we now run this command you can see we've actually returned the hash of the file. So we can just verify 4B and it ends 68. So a quick look here. So we can see the MD5 sum is 4B and then 68. Uh, equally, we can change this to shy1 and run the same again. And uh, you can see here we've generated the shy1, which again 6A, 3D. So this actually confirms by using the search util that we've got the original file as intended by the developer. So just close PowerShell and I'll also close the web browser. So the next thing we need to do is uh, double click image burn and I just need to type in the password here. Okay. So now this is now running with admin rights and we'll run the installation. Next, next, um, so obviously we can have it periodically checked, so in this case I'm just going to say no, and finish, okay. So we've now got a shortcut on the desktop, and let's uh, double click this and see if image burn runs. Okay, so we can see at this stage we need administrative privileges to run. Um, the user account I'm using is a, a normal user. So what we'll do is just uh, close this and we'll rerun with admin rights. So if I do a properties on here and compatibility, uh, run as an administrator, do an apply, that's okay. And run again and uh, I need to just enter the password again. Okay, so we can see Image Burn has found uh, two drives the Pioneer drive and the virtualized drive in the virtual environment which we're running. So, in this case, I'll just do a verify disk. And uh, it's there. It's going to read. Okay, so we can see we're, we're up and running. Let me uh, load a disk into the uh, drive and see what we get. Okay, so I've loaded a blank uh, disk into the drive. If we do discovery, you can see here we've actually got a blank CDR disk in here. It's a right tech disk. So what we can now do, if I change the mode back over, we can write an image file to the disk. 
And in this case, what I will do is select uh, the one we just done. Say OK. And in this case, when I say burn. That's what we should see now. Is OK, so we can see the uh, recording is complete. Just to acknowledge that. Uh, we did have a few errors on the verification. Um, but as you can see here, this is probably due, corrected by the drive, because it's wrong in the image file. It's probably due to the fact that this disk was recorded here over sort of 20 years ago um, by different software. And uh, probably the standards have actually changed over time. There. But let's, uh, let's go to this PC. Um, disk's in the drive. You can see we've actually got the disk here. And from here we can actually see we've got various files. Um, if I was going to images. Let's uh, view these as extra large icons. I've got some logos. And we've got to open this one up. Uh, it's an NSM 100XA jukebox. And you can see here this is a media changer. 50 discs on each side. Drive in the bottom and a robotic mechanism in the middle to unload the discs and load them into the drive. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and if you found this useful and would like to see more content, subscribe to the channel and also give us any feedback and comments below. Thank you very much.